you see here in front of you is I, I got my helmet, it's all painted up, I'm ready to uh, start hand painting it. Um, these are my masking templates for my tube stripes that I make. I sell these on my website and um, after many, many, many requests to start making masking templates, I decided to go ahead and start making them. Uh, it's not the same material that I use for my decals. It is actually a masking uh, substrate. And then uh, we're going to be using a number two brush, French blue, home roll paint, masking tape, and a pencil. And the reason why I use the pencil is because it's the perfect width to judge where my masking template is going to go. So I, I go about a pencil width away from the helmet and that's where I apply my, my decal. So I'm going to go ahead and put the decal on, or I'm sorry, the masking template on. I'm going to mask it out with the tape so that we don't get any splashes on anything. And next I'll, uh, I'll show you how I did that and, and we'll start painting the tube stripes on. All right, now using the pencil, I lined up my um, masking template so that there was about a pencil width of space between the tube stripes and the cheek. And I took a pencil and I marked it in the back and in the front, and then I carefully laid the masking template on there. And I find that if you lay it up in the front and then just kind of guide it back like this, it'll lay on pretty good. Uh, you can, if you mess, mess it up, you can peel it up and put it back down again. That's a little bit more challenging than putting on normal tube stripes because it is a square template and it doesn't want to conform as easily to the curved surface. But with a little bit of work, you can you can get it to, to conform pretty well. And once I get it all on there uh, and lined up the way I want it to, then I, just, I just take my fingernail and I just rub really good on the edges here. Just make sure that it, I got a nice tight uh, seal on the tape. And then I, I take masking tape and I go around the template to seal off the rest of the helmet just in case I get a little extra, you know, outside the, uh, outside the masking template there. Uh, now that it's all um, masked off, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint the tube stripes on. Alright, so I've mixed up my home roll really well. Uh, it took a couple minutes to shake it and then I used a toothpick to stir it more and just make sure it's really really well mixed. If you don't, um, it's not, it'll separate and you need to make sure it's stirred well. So I'm just going to start off here and I'm not going to push the paint in too much. I'm just going to gracefully go over it. You don't want to push paint under the masking template. What's really cool about all this is that when it's all done, you need to do a little cleanup. Um, a toothpick and a Q-tip go a long way and clean up a lot of little errors. So I'm going to finish painting these up. And then when I'm done, I'm going to pull this masking tape off and it's going to look awesome. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, well I've already started pulling off the masking tape. And uh, uh, I just I made sure my work area was clean. I, there's no paint. Uh, I've cleaned my brush, made sure there's no nothing in the work area that's, that's going to be wet. Uh, too many times I've accidentally gotten paint on my hands and I've touched the helmet and then, you know, of course it dries, you don't see it, and then, you know, the next day you've got a nice little mess on your hands. Okay, so now all that's on there is the masking template and the paint. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take off the uh, decal and I'm going to try and do that as, as slowly and as uh, cleanly as possible. I've taken an X-Acto blade <clears throat> and just lifted this corner up so I can get underneath it. So now, cross your fingers, I'm just going to gently 
pull the masking template off. Got a leak there. crazy I can fix that one in the back and that's really you know just a matter of uh, using a toothpick after after the paint dries using a toothpick and just dab a little bit in some uh, some paint thinner and just kind of scrub it out scrub it out No need to go you know, too crazy with it. Just make sure that you've got your tube stripe area completely filled up, that you didn't not paint an area. Strokes don't leave any marks, any white from the helmet showing through. Okay, so next I'm going to clean my brush now, and ne next I'm going to pull that off. I've made, made sure my work area is clean, and so now I'm going to take off the mask and tape carefully. I've got a little bit of leakage here on the front and in the back. I'm just going to let this dry and uh, tomorrow I'll come back and I'll use uh, some toothpicks and some Q-tips and I'll clean all that up and it'll look great. So that's it for tonight. There's our tube stripes and uh, Tomorrow, if I have time, I'll paint the vocoder. <laughs>